there are only a handful of pieces that become modern day icons. And today we're diving into the world of one of the most coveted Saint Laurent leather jackets, the LO1 Leather Biker. Keep watching, this is Radial TV. All right, we are back with another episode of Radial TV. The Saint Laurent LO1 leather jacket is a modern classic that has captured the hearts of fashion enthusiasts, brand loyalists, and celebrities around the world. This sleek, high fashion take on the traditional biker jacket was popularized during Hedy Slamen's tenure at the brand when he infused Saint Laurent with a rock and roll chic aesthetic. In this review, we'll examine its design and quality, discuss who this biker jacket is for and who it's not, and showcase a few ways you could style this piece. If you love leather jackets as much as we do, give this video a like and subscribe for more men's style content. So where did this iconic piece come from? The current iteration of the LO1 biker jacket made its debut in 2013 under the creative direction of Hedy Slimane. This pivotal moment marked a shift in the brand as Slimane dropped the Eve from the name, paying homage to the label's iconic 1966 Saint Laurent Rive Gauche era. It was a move to refresh the branding and embrace that spirit of youth and subculture that Yves Saint Laurent himself ignited with his ready-to-wear collections. Since then, the LO1 leather jacket has remained a beloved staple with variations and interpretations that have stood the test of time. So let's talk about the design and style of the LO1. This jacket is expertly crafted in Italy with skilled Tuscan craftspeople dedicated to producing their leather garments. Design-wise, the Saint Laurent LO1 has all the classic features of a traditional biker jacket, epaulets, three zip pockets, a snap closure flat pocket, zip cuffs, asymmetrical zip closure, and two interior pockets make up its iconic look. The jacket features the unmistakable Saint Laurent ivory silk tag and silver chain hanger below the collar. When it comes to fit, designer Hedy Slimane applied the signature SLP skinny cut to this jacket. We love the slim fit and the high armholes. It also features a cropped waistline, which follows in the tradition of the classic motorcycle jacket. The straight zippers compared to the traditional zipper layout add to the lo one symmetry and clean lines. This jacket is also versatile, striking a delicate balance between not being too heavy on details and not being too simple, making it easy to dress up or dress down. A few differences from the classic biker are the elimination of the belts, which cleans up the look a little bit, and the lapels, which are a little more angular and pronounced. So typically, LO1s are made from lamb leather, but this particular one that we have here is made from calf leather, giving it a more rugged look. This specific jacket hails from 2019 during Anthony Vaccarello's first few years at Saint Laurent. And one thing that sets it apart is this star pattern on the interior, injecting a touch of rock and roll vibes and giving it a subtle but distinct look. Now, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you prefer the smooth and sleek feel of lambskin leather, or do you lean towards the rugged durability of calf leather for your leather jackets? Let us know in the comments below. So who is this Saint Laurent leather jacket for? The LO1 is the epitome of cool and sleek that redefines the traditional biker for those who dare to venture into the world of luxury, high-end men's fashion. It's a grail item for fashion enthusiasts, brand aficionados, and SLP super fans everywhere who save up their hard-earned money to own this luxurious piece. And of course, you also have your celebrities like Kid Cudi, Kate Moss, Jeff Goldblum, g Easy, and many others who have been spotted wearing the yellow one. This is my favorite leather jacket. It's pretty much a staple of my wardrobe. It's the Saint Laurent. Got a few of them. Got a little collection. I remember when I got my- Now, if you're a real biker seeking a jacket designed specifically for motorcycle riding, the LO1 may not be your first choice. Though it does offer great quality, dedicated riding jackets typically feature stiffer, heavier gauge leather, and longer sleeves. Affordability is another factor to consider. The LO1 sits at the very high end of the price spectrum for clothing. It's an investment piece that requires true passion and appreciation for the product. 
In some ways, this jacket might not necessarily be the best bang for your buck in terms of quality. With designer brands, you're paying a bit of a premium for not only the design, but the name behind it. In our opinion, the best biker jacket you can get from a price to quality perspective is still the Shot Perfecto. Styling this Saint Laurent leather jacket is all about simplicity. The jacket itself is a statement piece, so effortlessly pairing it with a basic tee, dark wash jeans, and Chuck Taylors is a foolproof approach. Clean white sneakers like Common Projects or a pair of Vans or Adidas Gazelles can be great alternatives. For an elevated look, try pairing your biker jacket with Chelsea boots in beige suede or black leather. For a more styled look, we'll draw inspiration from David Beckham's famous 2016 GQ cover shoot. Although he wore a Tom Ford leather jacket, we've recreated the look with a calfskin LO1. Opt for a shirt and tie ensemble, a textured tie, and a casual sport watch tones down the dressiness a bit, so it's not so out of place with the ruggedness of the leather. So if you're in search of some alternatives to a Saint Laurent leather jacket, we've handpicked some options for you. Of course, the Shot Perfecto, as we mentioned, is an unrivaled classic, standing tall as the original biker, and comes in around $1,000 US. For quality choices in that $500 US range, you can never go wrong with All Saints leather jackets. And if you're seeking an alternative in that same price tier as the yellow one, Hedy Slimane's current Celine leather biker is another one of our absolute favorites. Lastly, if you want something that captures many of the design elements of the LO1, check out this jacket by From the First. It's probably the closest we've seen in style to the LO1, making it a great alternative. And while it still might not fall into that budget-friendly category, it does offer a more accessible price point compared to the Saint Laurent. We'll provide links to all these products in the description and a pinned comment below. We've also created an entire video dedicated to comparing Saint Laurent, Shot, All Saints Leather Jackets, and a few other brands. You can click the link above right now to check out that video. So thanks for watching our Saint Laurent leather jacket review. These are just some of our observations and opinions and thoughts. Whether you choose to invest in this luxury piece or explore some of the more accessible options, always remember that true style is about confidence and personal expression. Discover what works for you and embrace it. Don't forget to subscribe to Radial TV, give this video a thumbs up, and join the conversation in the comments. Are you considering the Saint Laurent LO1, or is there another jacket that's your own holy grail of leather bikers? Do you like the sleek Saint Laurent aesthetic, or do you prefer something more classic like the shot? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks again for watching. This is Radial TV.